Hello everybody, my name is Queen Sylvia Seven. I gotta get I gotta just get to the point with this video. You're a new creation in Christ. Okay? And I asked God for a prayer. I, in a prayer, when I was repenting, I told him, Lord, help me start a movement, Lord. And I don't really think I grasp what that is yet, but in my heart, I, I was telling him, like, use me, God, re recycle me, like, recycle me, like, make me new. But really, I didn't, I didn't say it that way. It was like, I wanted him to use me in a new way and make me new. But then I went in the, I, I told him, like, help me, like, yeah, like, be used in a new way and fill me with your Holy Spirit and help me to stop sinning, okay? So what God gave me, I went and took a shower and I looked at the at this and God gave me a revelation looking at my conditioner. It, what I, I saw the word recycled because that's what got my attention. And then reduce, reuse, recycle. I'm going to read to you the definition. Reduce means to cut back on the amount of trash we generate. So... On this bottle in the back, it says, right above this recycled thing, it says, empty before recycling. Okay, so you understand? So you want to empty yourself of the old you. You want to empty yourself of your sin. You want to reduce your sin, right? But you want to you wanna stop. You want to sin less. But it's a metaphor, though, okay? Like, empty yourself of you and all your sin. Okay? That doesn't mean... Like a shampoo, go and use it. Go use your sin. Like go, go be sinful. No, I'm like stop sinning. Okay, you want to sin less because this is the old you. Okay, but in order to be made into a new product, to be made into something new, because reduce and then reuse means to find new ways to use things that otherwise would have been thrown out. And. So God's not going to throw you away and be done with you just because um you were sinful or you you have your you got some you 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 emptied out you stopped sinning in in some ways you know but you got to be you got to be empty you got to stop sinning less stop sin like you're never going to be perfect okay so it's probably about this much but but you got to get to the point where you really stop sinning you really want to stop sinning and stop and your sin will be less, okay? So that God so and then recycle means to turn something old and useless like plastic milk jugs into something new and useful like picnic benches, playground equipment and recycling bins so that you can be used this this plastic once it's emptied and stuff which it must be emptied in order to be re reusable to recycle it to be used in a new way because this plastic is now this same old plastic this same old plastic used to be something else used for something else and it was useless for what it used to do okay and, and that's all over so got, so this plastic was put burned it was melted not burned but melted melted into to be so you're gonna be as a christian now you stop sinning less now you're doing your new creation in christ you've accepted jesus you're ready to be refilled with a new product be made into something new but you're going through the fire you're being refined and diamonds are made in under pressure you know under the ground and darkness and all of that but this isn't talking about diamonds and darkness it's talking about being put through fire right being put in the heat in the heat of life, when your problems, trials, tribulations, dramas coming your way, you know, your family's trying to fight you, whatever you got going on, people calling cops on you, whatever you got going on, you know, um, and uh, <laughs> your family, <laughs> your family size. So like, like, yeah, you want to be used in a new way. You got to be empty of yourself. You're going to go through the drama, but you got to go through that. This plastic had to be melted. It had to go through the fire so it could shape it, be reshaped, the reshaping, okay? The reshaping of it and so that it can be made into a new a new bottle or a new into this, you know, something new. 
okay so that you and then look at this this is suave essentials for all hair types so that so that god you can reach all kinds of people daily clarifying see cleansing shampoo rich lather removes excess oil built up and residue see look this that's what this product does it removes residue built up oil it gives your now it gives this gives you a long lasting fragrance okay it's new and improved <laughs> i'm just saying all these spirits speaking god speaks in so many ways okay but don't try to add to it because then you're doing too much but like when it's really when you when you could tell when it's god because for one, it's going to align with his word, okay? It's going to be positive. It's going to be encouraging. It's going to be uplifting, okay? According to his word, okay? Okay? Because God isn't all just about money and all of that, money and riches and this and that, okay? That's not all he's about, okay? He's more about wisdom and understanding, okay? And knowledge and using your knowledge and using your wisdom, putting it to practice. Don't just be a hearer, but be a doer of what God, what you're learning, Okay, because you are a new creation in Christ. Okay, and then God was like, I'm going to fortify you. I'm going to fortify you. And I was like, fortify my, fortify my house, my, my family, my, he's going to fortify us. That means make us stronger. Okay, I learned through playing the game risk. You don't go into battle and go into war, world domination. You got to fortify your city so that, so that you're not taken captive, so that you're not oh, uh, being taken over. Okay, so that the bad guy, so that the devil doesn't come, you got to be strong. God's going to make you strong. Okay? And then there was another one. It's not on here, but it was, oh, here, for, for three times stronger. Look, for three times system, system for three times less breakage. Okay, God's going to make you three times stronger. So that for less breakage, breast, less Less sinning, less less falling for the temptations that the devil throws at you three times stronger. How are you going to do that? By reading your word, spending time with God in prayer, put, putting him first. Seek God's kingdom first and everything else shall be added to you. Don't worry about money. I don't know why he's saying that so much. Don't worry about money. Don't worry about money. Don't worry about what you're going to eat. Don't worry about where these things are going to come from. God is more than able to, to use whatever he wants. He spoke through a donkey, okay? He can, he can use anybody he wants to bless you in whatever way, you know? And if you're, if you're not in prayer, seeking your, you're, you're not going to get his instructions because he will. You got to be alone and quiet and alone with God so that you can hear his voice, so that you can hear yourself even think when you're talking to him, what you want to say to him. And then he'll put, I, maybe he doesn't, you don't hear him audibly, but maybe you hear him, you, you, you get the thoughts in your mind. God speak, spoke to me through these shampoo bottles. He was like the fruit, fruit tea. So I was like, yeah, you're going to bear fruits. You're going to be fruitful. You're going to grow strong. Forti and then I looked up and saw fortify and he just spoke to me in the shower. He's like, I'm going to fortify you, your family. I'm going to make you guys stronger. My faith stronger. Everything. He's going to make it stronger. Okay? Through Jesus Christ. Because I'm a new creation. It's okay that you backslid. It's okay that you fell away for however long. As long as you repented with a godly repentance. And you're ready to be recycled. You're ready to be made new. You got to give God your all. You got to be willing to go through the fire. So you could be melted down. Emptied of the old you. So you could be made into something new. Bigger, better, and stronger. With new products. So you could be refilled with new products. With something new, which is God's word, God's word, the Holy Spirit. Okay, the Bible says that there, when you, when a man, re I'm paraphrasing, but um, pretty much when you change, I'm gonna say what it means though. When you change, uh, uh, you're emptied of yourself, and it says the demon leaves, you know, and they find the house, but then it come, it goes and wanders in the desert, and then it comes back and sees the house empty. But it comes back with seven demons stronger than itself. It goes back to the desert, gets seven demons stronger than itself, and you never know what you're going to get. And it comes back. It was able to come back in because the house was empty. So once you empty yourself of sin, don't just remain empty. You're supposed to be filling yourself with the word of God. Okay? Because otherwise, it's going to be, you're not going to be stronger. It's not just about repenting. 
but it's but it's about filling refilling yourself with the word of god refilling yourself with the word of god refilling yourself with the word of god and in case you didn't hear it for the people in the back refilling yourself with the word of god I don't mean to be obnoxious. I don't mean to be rude or none of that. I love you. And I know this is, you're, you're, it's clicking, right? It's clicking because God's speaking. All of this, it's, it's rich. It's rich. You're going to have a long lasting fragrance. Okay. You guys going to cleanse you daily, clarifying, cleansing. You got to be day, just like you got to shower every day and clean your body every day. Spiritually, men, you got to do that for your mind, okay, for your heart. So you, you can be, be able to speak God's word because you put it, you looked at it, you read it, it went in your brain, it went to your heart, and now you're speaking God's word so that you can speak God's word and bear fruit. Grow stronger and be fortified, be made stronger. How much not three times stronger? See that fruit? You're the apple of his eye. You're the apple of his eye. Psalms, I don't know what. Look it up. Ask Google. Where does the Bible say that that I'm the apple of God's eye? <laughs> it's in there. And he always shows me that when I look in there and he's like, you're the apple of my eye. And I'm like, oh, God, I love you, God. God speaks, y'all. But if you're not spending time in prayer with God, if you're not reading his word, how are you going to know that it says you're the apple of my eye? And then you see an apple and it's going to come to your heart and he's speaking to you. How you're not going to know that. God's trying to talk to you. He's trying to have a conversation with you. It's not all about just, you know, you, you have, want to have your quality time, right? First thing in the morning. Why? Because it's so quiet. Everyone's asleep. You got to make the time. You got to do it on purpose. And I'm preaching to myself. I'm preaching to myself. I got to get up. I got to do it on purpose. We got to do this on purpose. We got to be intentional. Ah, key word. Boom. Somebody. Intentional. Intentional. Take notes. Be intentional. Take notes. We got to be writing things down. When Write down. There's power in writing things down. Don't you know people have vision boards and stuff like that? Or There's power when you're writing things down. Don't you know you could be so upset like in your anger and it mean words can hurt but it's so much worse when you actually write it down in a text message or type it out because why because you, the person can always go back and read it and relive relive what they read you by reading what you wrote down you can relive like the the emotions you felt when you wrote it down the same thing with the positive stuff when God gives you a word, write it down so you can relive everything, the emotions, the Holy Spirit, the promptings of the Holy Spirit that you felt when, you, when he first gave it to you and you wrote it down. So that you relive the moment and you're like, oh, Lord, that is you. The devil is a liar because the devil's always out to kill, steal, and destroy. Which seed are you? People plant seeds. You hear the word of God here and there and there and this and that and you receive it, right? But where did it fall? Where did it fall? On what kind of ground? On the sidewalk where it had no chance? On the, on the, on, in the thorns, in the branches or whatever? In, or in the sand where, you know, where the devil came and st stole, where it choked up, grew a little bit, but then it, it choked up or like this is a parable. Or like did it fall on good ground where the seed took root and it was able to grow, grow stronger to the point that it bears fruits? Where you didn't fall away with God and get mad at him because you didn't understand because the devil stole, stole the word that God that gave you hope because you didn't write it down. And now God's trying to tell you you're the apple of his eye and you're like, what are you talking about? An apple? What does that mean? <laughs> huh? <laughs> God, why are you showing me apples all day? What? Why am I looking at this and I feel like you're speaking, but I don't know if it's just me in my head making it up or not. No, don't just talk it about, don't just be talking about, oh, I'm spiritual. No, I'm a Christian. I, I'm, I believe in Jesus Christ is the son of God and I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. And I'm a new creation in Christ and I, and I want to be baptized. Some of, you, some of you need to be baptized. It's time to get baptized. It's time to be all in. It's time to surrender your whole life to Jesus Christ. Without repentance. From God, I mean. Like, with repentance. But without... To preach the good news without repentance. To be bold for God without repentance. With a, not being sorry about it, you know? Because when you write things down, 
like you do in a journal, like you do on Facebook, like you do on social media, when you're quick to go and put all your feelings on there. When you when God gives you a word and you have all these good things, go write that down. Take the time and be intentional to write those things down too. Okay? Because you're being made new. Yes, Lord, Holy Spirit. He said, don't forget to tell them. It says, bottle, recycled plastic bottle, excluding the pump. You see this head? It says that everything is recycled except this pump, the head. Okay, and I feel like what, so this all changed, but this didn't change. So what is leading you? What is the head? What is, you know, this is supposed to be God. God is new. Jesus doesn't change. He doesn't change. He never changes. His word is always going to be the same. He will always love you. There's nothing that you can do that will make God love you less. And there's nothing you can do that will make God love you more. Yeah, let that marinate. Because God's love remains. It's, he's always going to love you. No matter how much you sin, God, Jesus already knew what he was doing when he gave his life on the cross. When he gave his life on the cross, okay? God could have saved himself. Jesus was scared. He said, Father, remove this cup from me, but not my will, but your will be done. Are you willing to die your, to yourself, to your sin, and, and be filled with the, the Holy Spirit of God uh, through Jesus Christ and receive him as your, your true Lord and Savior? And say, not my will, Lord. Because the problems aren't going anywhere. The drama's not going anywhere. And truth be told, your family members ain't going anywhere. Unless they're, uh, uh, you know, deceased. Unless they died already or they're dying or they're dead. Already gone. Okay, I don't mean to be sound insensitive or none of that. My family members, I've been losing people. Uh, I lost my dad just last year. But that's not the point. The point is... Your problems aren't going nowhere. But and 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 the body might die, but don't fear who has the ability to kill your body, but who has the ability to throw your soul in hell. You don't want to just die. We're gonna go somewhere after we die. There's eternity. Live for eternity. Live your life like you're building it toward eternity, not just for today and now and for the pleasures of this world. Everything is temporary, it's fading. You could buy something brand new and then it's already getting rusted, chipped, paint chipped, scratched, stolen, whatever. But not in heaven. Not in heaven. Heaven is real. Heaven exists. Okay? So that was the revelation. Look, look. So then, so then when, when God, God is the pump, right? And then new product comes out. I don't have any more, but new product, new product comes out of you. You're going to be filled with God's word and God's going to, you see this head? This is your mouthpiece. This is where, where stuff comes out. Your mouth, God's going to speak through you. He's going to use you to, to, to do so that all this stuff, these are the effects that you are going to cause on people's lives. You're going to cause them. You're going to recycle. You're gonna, God's reusing you. You're recycled. You're a new creation in Christ. And that's going to rub off on people. They're going to use you, your YouTube channel. They're going to go to you for prayer. They're going to go to you for whatever they need. For money. For a favor. For prayer. For whatever they need. Whatever God tells you and leads you, you know, to do for people. Be obedient. Be there for the widow. Be there for the orphan. Be there for the poor. Don't judge people. Leave that in God's hands, okay? Who are you? Remember where you came from? Yeah. If you're not the person that backslid and you're the person that's been doing wonderful, God bless you. Don't forget where you came from, okay? Stop judging people, all right? Because God's, that's part of their testimony. That's part of what they need to go through, what they had to go through, that God had planned from the beginning because they're called to reach a certain crowd that you are not. You're called to reach a certain other crowd, okay? Not every word is for everybody, okay? But test the Spirit by the, by the Word of God, by the Spirit, by the Holy Spirit, okay? Because 
Um, you don't want to just be chasing every word like everything's from God. Make sure it's aligning through with, with God's, with the word of God, with God's word, with the Bible, okay? And that, and spending time with him, okay? That's how you're going to know the difference, if you're being deceived or not, okay? God will speak, okay? For everyone who cries out to God, God hears them, okay? And he does answer them. He rescues them. He will uh, help you to Hi, stop stumbling. Hi, Ethan. And that is my cue. Hi. Hi. So I love you all. God bless you. Have a quick prayer. Heavenly Bye. Father, I pray that this video re uh, reaches everybody you intended for. Yes, baby. I'll put it right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Uh, bless the video God let it go forth everybody share like the video subscribe all of that do do your part too in Jesus name I love you you know let me know your testimony in the comments if it helped you all of that good stuff I love you I'll see you in the next one bye